The incredible. It's not just an adjective. It's an action, a process, an evolution. The incredible emerges in an endless wave of becoming, like the creation of this ultra-clean, smooth, and delicious Russian standard vodka. The product of a chain of events stretching back over thousands of years to make just a single drop has taken soft glacial water from an ice age lake. Wheat strong enough to survive winter, Russian winter, real winter. The minds of Russia's most brilliant scientists, the approval of a czar. Well, it's such a great ad. It's enough to drive you to drink. Russian vodka, that is. But with the crisis continuing in Ukraine, and as we just talked to Professor uh, Errol about what shall we do with Vladimir Putin, more politicians on this side of the world are saying it's time to perhaps ban Russian products, particularly Russian vodka. Sherry DeNovo is an NDP MPP and is saying that very thing. Sherry, nice to see you. Thanks very much yes, for joining us. pleasure. So you are joining the growing chorus from, that's started in Western in Canada with Premier Brad Wall and, of course, uh, the Conservatives in, in, in Manitoba. I'm um, not sure if, if the uh, Premier got on board with that, but nonetheless, we know that a lot of Western Canadians are of, um, you know, the Ukrainian diaspora. But here in Ontario, we have a large Ukrainian yeah, population. 350,000 Ukrainians incredible. across Ontario. And I want to be clear, it's just that Russian standard brand. That's the one vodka that's completely and utterly made in Russia. Mm -hmm. People can keep their stolly and okay. others. I mean, they're made in other places. This is symbolic. I mean, want to target uh, this product because it, it, just like the ad said, it's the first thing you think about when you think about a Russian product. And it's, it's, it's very propagandist if you when you're watching it and it's a very well-made ad and you know sherry i think most people when they go to the lcbo or the liquor board store somewhere mm -hmm. in wherever they are they're not looking at the made in they're just simply i want to buy i'm going out friday night with my friends and are having a party they're just ripping it off the shelf you there know it's dozens start, it, of other vodkas they yeah can buy. and i think that's part of the point buy <laughs> absolute <laughs> vodka for yeah, example absolutely and this is again i just want to emphasize it's symbolic mm -hmm. but we need to do something yeah. uh, we're talking about people whose families are in danger over there i've been to many many demonstrations with ukrainian ontarians there are hundreds of them out at these demos this is a call from them and it's a call for anybody who really thinks about the situation wants to make some move some symbolic move towards peace and i think that's part of it and even what has happened at the national level you know with um, prime minister harper and mm -hmm. the number of um the cabinet ministers traveling there and showing that solidarity i think really does make a difference i mean a lot of people will say oh that doesn't mean anything but but symbolism does count for something a, a, a grand gesture like that i think has an impact do you have much support from your colleagues at the uh, the legislature absolutely from all of my colleagues and the new democrats mm -hmm. and and, uh, the, and Charles Sousa, the finance minister, said he'd look at the motion. Well, we really put it in the government's lap now mm -hmm. because if it's going to happen, it's got to happen through the government. So we're waiting on what they do. But I know that the request was made of mm -hmm. Kathleen Wynne months ago, and she had no response for the Ukrainian Canadian Congress. I, I so, think she's got so other problems on her hands. Mm, yeah. Possibly. So, yeah. I mean, this is something the government could do as a small thing. Do it. Right. And then they're talking about making fundamental changes as, as to where we're selling beer and wine anyway. This could be very quick quickly done, could it not? Like, Absolutely. This is not the LCBO even a very could do it. I mean, yeah. I, it, you know, it could happen on many levels, but it's the sign of support mm -hmm. for 350,000 of our citizens and their relatives back in Ukraine. Yeah. Uh, and it's a sign of, uh, of support for independence and democracy, because really the struggle there that started in Maidan is about just that. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, do, is there sort of a time frame that you're looking at, or is this like a just an all-out ban for you know, until Putin well, and, we have, and Russian yeah. troops are out of there, what's the We have process? said till the crisis is resolved. Okay. So that's what we said in the motion. Uh, that's as general as we want to make it. But the question is, will this government act? And we hope they do. Well, we'd hope they act on a whole host of other things. But the challenge, of course, Sherry, is we see the crisis even escalating. Now they're in the, now that we saw the pro-Russian um, uh, protesters taking over the eastern part of Ukraine, mm -hmm. that they want a referendum. This is, this is a, this is a long going, ongoing um, battle troubling. with little end in sight. Very troubling. Mm -hmm. I was one of the authors of the Holodomor bill that de declared the Stalinist mm -hmm. genocide of 10 million Ukrainians in the, in the 30s. And it, it was most troubling to see one of those Russian demonstrators holding up you know, a picture of Stalin, my yeah. goodness, uh, where 10 million were starved to death. So very troubling, yeah. extremely troubling. Well, appreciate this and, uh, and showing some leadership on this very important issue. Thanks very much. Well, thank you. That issue.